BTEC Applied Science Unit 3, Factors Affecting the Rate of Diffusion, How Quickly Diffusion Happens. And why have I got a picture of a shark there? You'll, you'll find out very shortly. Now, these are the factors affecting the rate of diffusion. Uh, the concentration gradient, the difference in the concentration either side of the membrane. The rate of diffusion is greater if there's a bigger difference between the concentrations to begin with. The shape and size of the molecules. Well, now, at the same temperature, smaller molecules are moving faster, so they will diffuse faster. The shape of the molecules, that could have something to do with the membrane. Okay, some membranes, we say they are semi-permeable. And perhaps whether the, the molecules can get through the little holes in the membrane has something to do with the shape of the molecules. Temperature. At higher temperatures, the molecules are moving faster, so diffusion will happen faster. Distance. If the molecules have to travel further, then they will take longer to mix. And surface area. If we're talking about a membrane, then the larger the surface area, then diffusion will happen quicker. This is why we have lots and lots of these little air sacs, alveoli, in our lungs, so that we have a large surface area. Here's an example we can look at. If I spray an aerosol of perfume, then eventually everybody in the room will smell it. Now, people in the room will smell it sooner if, let's look at these factors, concentration gradient. Well, this is all of them. If I spray more perfume, then people will smell it quicker because there's a bigger difference in concentration. The shape and size of the molecules, well, the size, if the perfume molecules are smaller, then you will smell them sooner. If the room is warmer, then you will smell it sooner. Diffusion will happen quicker. Uh, the people closer to me will smell the perfume sooner than people further away from me. Uh, surface area doesn't really apply in this example. But it does in this one. Now, this is the shark. Diffusion happens in the gills of a shark. What substances diffuse into and out of the shark's blood? Well, just like our lungs, oxygen from the water, oxygen dissolved in the water, diffuses into the shark's blood, and then carbon dioxide diffuses out. How are the gills designed so as to increase the rate of diffusion? Well, they have a large surface area. Just like the alveoli in our lungs, the, the total area, surface area of the gills of the shark is very, very large. The membranes are thin, which makes it easier for substances to diffuse through them. And a constant flow of water through the gills ensures a large concentration gradient. As the shark swims through the water, water comes in its mouth and it comes out of its gills. And the reason for that is so that there's always a fresh supply of oxygen, so that there's always a big difference in concentration either side of the membrane, so that there's a big difference in the concentration of carbon dioxide as well, because it's always being taken away as the water moves across the gills. Apparently, if a shark stops swimming, then it will die because the concentration gradient won't be big enough for enough oxygen to get into the shark's blood.